going on guys and uh, today I'm just going to show you my FlyFit review. I basically have about six minutes worth of clips of me training there and uh, yeah it's pretty it's pretty good gym like but I'll like I'll save some words for the end of the video. Hope you enjoy. Right so this first machine here is uh, some sort of row machine like not many gyms have it so it's really really good like I'll give it about 8 out of 10 but I recommend it to everyone that goes to the gym. Right, so the lap pull downs on these in this gym is just a bit different. So, like, I recommend just taking these at the start because, like, the weights are, they do feel lighter in this gym. Like, I think I can pull about 80 kilos on the lap pull down and still, like, pull quite well. But I'd rather just go down to 16 to do, like, four or five sets, you know? Right, so this is probably one of my favourite machines I've ever used. And it's just amazing. Like, you just you don't really use your body for, like, the pull. Just your hands as hooks. You know yourself, and uh, it's just overall a sick machine. Right, so here I have my uh, my fifth set of eight, my fourth or fifth set of eighty with for ten, and uh, the benches are very low in this gym. Like it suits people that are like quite small, short in height, but I like it. But I like I like short benches. I don't mind them. I feel like I can I can use leg drive a bit more, but just personal preference. Right, so this is the main problem about this gym is the is the benches. The benches are aren't the best, but you get used to them. Like same when you're doing shoulder press, that's when they're they're just so so bad. Like I don't really like them. Like when I'm doing shoulders, maybe dumbbells for when I'm doing chest. It's a bit, a bit different, but I, I don't I'm not really a big fan of the, them benches. So if you're going to fly for just keep that in mind that them benches aren't too good. Right, so this row machine here, it's a really, really good row machine here because, uh, like, I don't know, it's just the way, the way you just get the pull on the machine, it's just really, really good. You get a nice contraction, everything. It's much better than the one in Ben Dunn. So, yeah. Right, so uh, here I'm doing shoulder press with barbell and uh, this this is pretty good because say if you fa if you can go to a failure on all your sets and say if you can just drop it in front of you you can just literally fall down off the bench and the thing just falls onto the stand that it has which is really good i'm just doing 50 for like 10 for four or five sets of 10 there and that machine is brilliant i recommend it to everyone right so here's the main problem it's the benches for when i'm doing shoulders like, I can't really, like, get, it's hard to get them up because they're low to the ground, like, and they're just terrible, they're just, I don't like them at all, but it's just the fact of getting used to it, and I'll just throw more, do more military, standing military press, so, I don't know, I don't recommend these benches. Here we have a, a, a chest, press ma chest press machine, and it's, it's alright, like, it's not too bad, but you can go really, I was doing a full rack there, one, like, it was like 110 kilos for a couple of reps, reps but... Uh, it's, it's all right machine, I recommend to uh, everyone. Right here we have uh, the decline bench press. Um, uh, this is my second time doing a decline bench press, so don't judge, I'm going pretty light. And yeah, it's, it's, I like, I'm, I'm starting to incorporate decline press more, because now Flyfit has, has like a decline press, so yeah, I recommend to everyone that benches really. Right, the squat racks in this gym, I love the squat racks in this gym, I don't know, I just really lo I like everything about them. Like the height of like where you can put uh, the bar is nice. It's like it's over, it's overall very safe. The plates are are nice. The plates are good. Everything's good. Like no complaints about that. Right here we have the leg press, and uh, I'm not too fond of any leg press because my hip flexors and my overall mobility is the worst. It's so bad. So, like it's a good leg press. I recommend to everyone. It's pretty good. I'm just going light for the sake of it because I don't really use the leg press. Right, so here we have uh, the leg extension. You can like this leg extension is good for doing like when you're doing when you're focused on the minimal connection when you're doing like single leg, 
but I don't really like it because it's like, I don't know, it feels like the gym is made for really small people, but I don't know, it's just like that machine kills your shins, but there's another leg extension that's just a normal regular leg extension, but uh, that this machine kills your shins, it's better off doing only single legs. Right, here we have uh, the machine shoulder press, I think it's a good alternative to dumbbells, but um, this this machine incorporates your front delts quite a lot compared to a regular shoulder press machine that you would see in like Ben Dunn, West Westside or something like that. But I, I like it. I just pile on the way. I do I do lots of volume, quite heavy weight. I do five, to, no, I do eight to 12, 15 reps. It's a pretty good machine. It just incorporates so much of your front delts into it. Right, so here I have like two more clips of uh, me doing just biceps and shoulders, but th these are two different days. Like that, that was like one of the clips are from the start, one of the clips are from the end of the week. So yeah, um, yeah, just enjoy the rest of the video. Enjoy them last two clips. So, what do I think of life? Um, I think like I I'm, I'm ready like I already moved there from them Ben from Ben Dunn, so I basically go to two gyms at the moment. So like um, I'd say Ben Ben Dunn is good for like say overall like gym like say swim pool sauna jacuzzi like like Ben Dunn is bigger is much bigger but Floyfe is newer Floyfe have better equipment. Well, the one, the few things Ben Dunn is better than Floyfe at is obviously the swim pool, the sauna, the jacuzzi, and I like their benches like for dumbbells. So that's that's all like that Ben Dunn is better at for me. And uh, Floyfe, Floyfe is better like better for deadlifts, better for squats, more squat racks. Um, for me, I like the bench better. The machines are much better. They have a chest press, which Ben Dunn have. Ben Dunn do have a chest press, but. The chest press isn't that good. Like in terms of atmosphere, the boat. Mm, I don't really like. See, I'm like the type of person that doesn't really care about the atmosphere of the gym. And like, um, like I, I just put my headphones or earphones on. And I just zone, zone out, just doing my thing, train hard, you know. But some, a lot of the people that I know that go to the gym, like base, like the gym on the, uh, on like, uh, on like atmosphere, like oh, the atmosphere is bad in this gym, you know. Like say Anil Barbell, that's Anil Barbell is probably the gym with the best atmosphere ever. Like everyone's trained hard, you know. Like, but like I don't know. Like I based atmosphere, the atmosphere in Floyd is alright. Like it's good, it's pretty good, pretty good like atmosphere. Like, um, what else? Equipment, Floyd Fit, very good. I say, eight out of ten. I give, I would have gave it a ten out of ten if it wasn't for them benches for like the shoulder press and all, but. Like everything else is good. I have like they have boxing bags in Floyd Fit and in Bendel they don't have boxing bags and uh like just it's just like I'd rather Floyd Fit. It's just it's just nicer for me. It's better for me. It's better because I don't go to the gym just chill out in jacuzzi and all sauna. But I'd say when I'm cutting, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna use Ben Dunn more often when I'm cutting to do like say sauna and all and swimming maybe after cardio, which is a good idea maybe, but. I don't know, it's personal preference to be honest, which is but uh, yeah, um like personally I'd I'd say Floyd is the best gym in down at the moment, but it's personal preference. Like say some 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 people would like Ben Dunn, some people would like Westside, some people would like the Aquatic Centre, some people would like Floyd Fit, but like people said, Oh I'm joining Floyd Fit. The place is empty. I've been there at six o'clock in the evening, it was 
it was literally, I got a good workout and bench, got a bench easily, G nobody in the gym. I went at five in the morning, it wasn't packed at all, got a, got a session in, went at like half twelve, one o'clock, it wasn't packed, got a session in, went at 8pm at night, wasn't packed, got a session in. I haven't been at like 4pm though, that, I don't want to go at that time, but I say it would be a bit packed at that time, so yeah, I don't know. My overall review, I'd say I'd give it for like 8, 8 out of 10, it's a pretty good gym, like. I'm impressed, like, I didn't think it was going to be that good, I thought it was going to be just a de decent gym, like, I thought it was going to be, like, Ben Dunn, but, like, it turned out to be so good that I got, ended up getting a year membership in it, so, like, I recommend Flavor for, like, anyone that doesn't really like to go to the jacuzzi, you know, you know, so, and, like, people, like, people, boxers can train in Flavor, obviously, you have all the cardio machines, you have all, everything, like, they have so much, they have so much stuff there, boxers can, like, go at it at the bags and all, there's a there's a nice mad spin class as well. You can put the stuff around your arms that monitor your heart rate and the calories you burn. So, like, like I like I really like that because in Ben you see people there's big classes in the middle of the gym, you know, and in the big astroturf area and it's very annoying for a lot of people, you know, and like in Flyfit the like the astroturf area is, is like is below like, is like downstairs and nobody really walks past that only when you're going upstairs into the gym. And that's where the classes are on, so it doesn't really bother me, them classes in Florida, because it's separate to the gym itself, you know. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like in conclusion, uh, Floyd Fit is good. I recommend it to everyone. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe.